Merry Christmas, everyone! Jingle bell, jingle bell. If you're watching this video, you're in luck because you're about to receive the best Christmas gift anyone could ever get. The gift of being able to get out of any phone call ever. Oh my god! You say as you wet yourself in excitement, right? How great! You gotta tell me, mate! Tell me! Alright, calm down. Tell me, mate! Calm down! Alright? Okay, so check it out. Suppose that me and you were speaking on the phone. You alright, mate? Okay, suppose that for whatever reason, I decided that I wanted to stop talking to you. How could I go about doing this? Let's have a look at some of the options. One way I could do this is by doing the following. Oh, is it? Did you really? Oh, that's fascinating, mate. Anyways, listen, mate, I've got to go. Because uh, I can't fucking stand you. Like, at all. Fuck off. Anyways, chat later, mate. Just kidding. Fuck off. Telling someone to fuck off is surprisingly effective at ending a phone call. And even more so when you combine it with telling them that you genuinely hate them. But, one problem with this is that while it does end the conversation, you might not want to talk to me after that. Like, ever. Which some might see as a bit of a problem. So let's just have a quick look at the other options. This is something that I actually used to do years ago. Like, I'd be having a conversation that I want to end, right? So what I would do is I would just pretend like a family member was calling me from another room. I know! Genius, right? It'd go a little something like this. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one, mate! Oh, one second, mate! Under's calling me! Yeah, Under, what'd you say, mate? What'd you say? Oh, what? There's an emergency? I've got to come downstairs and end the phone call right now! Oh, all right! Oh, sorry, mate, I've got to go. There's an emergency, mate. My mum's gone and... Uh, uh, lost her socks. All right, chat later. Because if I give you a shit excuse like that, right, odds are that you're going to know what I'm up to, and again, you're going to be pissed off, aren't you? So again, this is also not the best idea. So those are the two options that you currently have, and they're both shit, right? Now listen, bit of an issue with this, and you'll see why in a second when you hear it, but here's the third option, which is my super amazing method. Okay, basically I fucked up with the recording of it, alright? But have a listen, and I'll still try and explain afterwards. Now listen, I apologise in advance, alright? Okay, have a listen to what I've managed to record. Okay, let me just set this up and I'll show you, right? Shit, fuck. Okay, right, so the way... Oh, the... Fuck, can you stupid butterfinger mother Alright, listen, sorry, okay? I know I had the best Christmas gift hyped up for you, and now I can't even show you, right? Because as I was recording the audio for this video, I dropped my fucking phone, which I record all of my audio on, and it's now fucked up, right? So sadly, I can no longer show you this best Christmas gift ever. Except that I can! Because that was how I would get out of the phone call, by pretending my phone fucked up. See, I tricked you all, man. My phone is fine. But, how was I able to make it sound so convincingly fucked up, you ask yourself, right? You just keep pressing the mute button. Like, that's literally it. Simple as fuck, right? If you keep pressing the mute button, your phone will sound insanely fucked up, man. It's so simple, yet it's so effective, man. Like, go call a mate and try it on each other and see for yourselves, right? The uses for this technique are so vast, man. Like, for example, right? You can use it when bill collectors call. You can use it when you and your new girlfriend are doing that. No, you hang up. No, you hang up shit. And you just want to hang the fuck up. And it helps you end those fucking awkward conversations with elderly relatives. Now, listen, don't get me wrong. I love them, right? But I don't know what the fuck to say to them. They're like 90 years old. They don't even know what Wi-Fi is. I can't relate to someone like that. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas present, mate. Just try not to be too antisocial with it, right? But listen, anyways, right? Merry Christmas to you all. I hope everyone's having an amazing Christmas. And my next video will be the prank one. By the way, I thought this was kind of funny, right? 
One of the guys that I'm going to mention in my pranks video, like, subscribe to my channel. Which is kind of awkward, but fuck you, mate, I don't care, right? How about you give me a call and we can talk about it?